Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, two triangles, this right triangle ABC and this uh, isosceles triangle ADC put together as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, DE is the perpendicular on this side uh, BC and this angle ADC is uh, 90 degrees and moreover uh, this side uh, AD equals to this side uh, CD and furthermore uh, this segment uh, BE is uh, 7 units whereas this tiny segment uh, EC is uh, 3 units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle uh, ADC please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and let's focus on this uh, green shaded isosceles triangle ADC. Let's assume that this uh, side uh, is uh, x uh, units. Then this side is going to be x units uh, as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right angle ADC. It's a 90 degrees angle. If I assume that this uh, angle is uh, alpha, then this uh, remaining angle has got to be 90 degrees uh, minus alpha. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, AP on this uh, side uh, DE, as you can see, such that uh, this uh, AP segment length is going to be equal to this uh, BE length which is 7 units so therefore AP length has got to be 7 units as well and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle CDE and now let's recall this famous uh, trigonometric ratio sine of theta is always equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse and for uh, this uh, triangle uh, CDE for this angle uh, alpha this uh, side uh, EC is our opposite uh, side and this uh, CD is uh, our hypotenuse. So therefore uh, sine of uh, angle alpha is going to be equal to 3 divided by x and now I can put uh, 1 uh, underneath uh, this uh, left hand side it doesn't make any difference and now we are going to cross multiply so therefore we are ended up with the x times the sine of alpha is going to be equal to 3 and now I am going to divide both sides by sine of alpha to isolate x this is gone so therefore we can write x equals to 3 divided by sine of angle alpha and I'm going to label this one as our equation number one. And now we are going to focus on this uh, other right triangle APD. And now let's recall this uh, trigonometric ratio sine of theta equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse once again. And now for this uh, triangle APD, for this angle 90 degrees uh, minus alpha, this side uh, AP is going to be the opposite side and this uh, side AD is going to be the hypotenuse so therefore we can write uh, sine of uh, our angle this time is uh, 90 degrees uh, minus alpha has got to be equal to our opposite uh, side is uh, 7 units so I'm going to write down 7 divided by our hypotenuse uh, is uh, x and now let's recall this uh, trigonometric identity sine of 90 degrees minus uh, theta equals to cosine theta so therefore on the left hand side this uh, sine of 90 degrees minus alpha is same as writing uh, cosine of uh, alpha and now once again I'm going to make this one fraction on the left hand side by just putting one underneath let's cross uh, multiply so therefore we are going to get uh, x times uh, cosine of alpha equal to 7 and now we are going to divide uh, each and every term uh, 
by cosine of alpha on the left and the right this is gone so therefore our x value turns out to be 7 divided by cosine of alpha and I'm going to label this one as our equation number 2 and here we are ended up with these two equations equation 1 and equation 2 and here now we are going to compare these two equations we can see the left hand sides are identical so therefore we can equate the right hand sides as well so therefore we can write 7 divided by cosine of alpha could be written as 3 divided by sine of alpha and now we are going to tweak this equation by simply switching 7 and uh, sine of alpha as you can see in this uh, next step and it doesn't make any difference whatsoever and now let's recall this uh, famous uh, ratio sine of alpha divided by cosine of alpha is always uh, tangent of alpha we are going to apply this one on the left hand side so therefore we can write uh, tangent of alpha is going to be equal to 3 divided by 7 so thus our tangent of alpha value turns out to be 3 divided by 7 and now let's focus once again on this right triangle CDE and let's recall this uh, trigonometric ratio tangent of theta is always equal to opposite uh, divided by adjacent so therefore for this triangle uh, CDE for this angle uh, alpha our opposite side uh, is going to be this segment uh, EC whereas uh, this uh, DE segment is going to be the adjacent so therefore we can write uh, tangent uh, of angle alpha is going to be equal to our opposite side is uh, 3 divided by our adjacent side is uh, this uh, DE length and now we know that our tangent of alpha value is 3 divided by 7 I'm going to substitute that value over here as 3 divided by 7 and now we are going to cross multiply so therefore 3 times the DE segment length is going to be equal to 21 and now we are going to divide both sides by 3 so this 3 and 3 is gone so therefore our DE segment length turns out to be 7 units so thus our uh, this uh, DE length uh, turns out to be 7 units let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle CDE and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our hypotenuse is uh, x whereas our two other legs are uh, 3 and uh, 7 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so we got uh, 3 square uh, plus uh, 7 square is going to be equal to x square or simply x square uh, turns out to be equal to 58 so thus our uh, x square value turns out to be 58 and here's our uh, final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ADC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle in our case for this uh, green shaded triangle this side is the base whereas this side uh, is the height of this triangle so therefore the area of this uh, green shaded triangle is going to be a half times our uh, base is uh, x times the height is uh, x once again and now we can see x times x is going to give us uh, x square and we know our x square value is 58 so I'm going to substitute that value 58 over here and that is going to give us uh, 29 square uh, units uh, the area of this green shaded triangle so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ADC turns out to be 29 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.